guys, so today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to rotate your time lapses like how Sam Calder did in his My Year 2016 video because I received a comment about how he did that and it's very simple and also I can show you how to add that blurry effect. So let's get started. I have my hyperlapse right here. So what we can do is we can hold on to that first clip and then press R and then that rotation will pop up and then we can go to the end of our clip and then click the clock button so we make a keyframe and then go to the beginning of the clip and then rotate it as much as you want but you can go all the way around um, like that if you want but I'm just gonna go in the middle so I'm just gonna go to 50 so as you can see it just rotates like that now what you want to do is we're going to go and press S on our keyboard and that will open up the scale drop down. And now we want to scale it in so we don't see any of the black background. You can click the keyframe button and then go to the end of the clip and then have it go back to um, whatever you started at, which mine was 37. And the reason why it was at 37 is because since this is um, a picture, it's a combination of pictures. Um, the quality is a lot better and I'm putting this into a 30 frames per second uh, composition. So before I even started this tutorial, I had to scale it out so that it fit the clip. But anyways, we're gonna we're at the end of this clip, we're just gonna go so that we don't see that black bars anymore. And over here I can see the bars a little bit again, so I'm just gonna scale it in so you don't see the bars. Okay, so now you can see that we don't see any black parts of the clip. I'm also just going to delete this first keyframe because it doesn't really matter. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to search up radial blur in effects and presets. And this is going to make that blur um, effect. So I'm just going to change the amount to 2, but you can change the amount however you like. The, more, the higher the number, the more blur it's going to have. So as you can see, it has this blur. And I'm also going to just add warp stabilizer um, so that the footage looks more stable. So like I said, um, you can rotate it however much you want. In Sam Coder's video, he kind of rotated it like a full 360. But, um, but yeah, that's the final tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Um, subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.